Okay, so um, we've been talking about measurements. Today I want to talk a little bit about things like this. What happens when you have something labeled like this? What's that mean? Uh, you could add 0.005 to either side. Okay. Yeah, it means this is what we call an ideal value or a desired value. That means if we had in a perfect world, if we could get this exact, we would want that to be 1.200 inches exactly. It's just like measuring an engine when you had like piston clearance from the top, I think, on the 43, it's like 0.071. Yeah. But you have a maximum of 0.038. Yeah. Exactly. Um, this tells you that you can be a little bit more or a little bit less. You can yeah. be off by five thousandths of an inch. So what it is, what it's really doing is it's implying a range. The range, the lowest number would be this ideal value minus our tolerance or 1.195. And the highest would be this ideal value plus the tolerance, or 1.205. Make sense? So what does it mean if we have something like this? Perfect. Yeah, we can be off by 0.5%. So to figure out what that is, that's 0.5. Remember, percent is always out of 100, so it's 0.5 out of 100 equals blank out of 0 0.840. So 0.5 times 0 0.840 divided by 100 is 0 0.0042. So what this is really saying is plus or minus 0 0.0042. What if we have a part that's labeled? Like that. It's given the range. This is the minimum value, this is the maximum value. But I want to write it as a number plus or minus. How do I find this? This first number, the desired value or ideal value. Well, it's going to be, so you take the average of the two. Yeah, going to be right between them. So yeah, we're going to just average them, add them together. 0 0.490 plus 0 0.530 and divide by 2, which will give us 0 0.510. Bit of advice when you do this, when you add these, hit equals first before you divide by 2. Otherwise, your calculator will screw it up. So we got 0 0.510, which is... Close. To find the plus or minus, you subtract them instead of adding them. You're right on that, but you still have to divide it by 2. It's only halfway, yep. So you're going to take the 0.53 minus the 0.49, and you'll divide that by 2, which will give us a 0 0.020 inches. So it's 0 0.510 inches plus or minus 0 0.020. He didn't have to divide by 2. Well, what, what a lot of people will do is once they have this value, instead of subtracting these and dividing by 2, they'll just take this one and subtract that. Well, it came out to be the same value. Didn't it? No. No? It would have been 0 0.040 if you hadn't divided by 2. <clears throat> How about this? What's that saying? Um, you <coughs> take 
go <laughs> any farther, but you can shorten it up by 100. Okay. Yeah, we really, really want it to be 0 0.750, three quarters of an inch. Can't go any bigger, but if, you, but if it's shortened, if it's shortened by a hundredth of an inch, it's fine. Perfect. We absolutely cannot be any larger, but if it's a little bit shorter, we're okay. Up to a hundredth of an inch or ten thousandths of an inch shorter, we're good. Yep. And this is implying a range as well. The range, the bottom end of the range, of course, is this minus that, or 0 0.740 inches. The top end of the range is this plus the, the plus, which is zero, so it's just going to be 0.750. Um, so the question comes up, why don't they just label this 0.745 plus or minus 0 0.005? It gives you the exact same range, so why don't they label it like this? Well, because this number here, this value, it's called the ideal value because, as we said, in a perfect world, that's what we'd want it to be. This is saying we want it to be 0.745, 745 thousandths, and try to get it as close to that as possible. But if you're a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller, we've got a problem. This here is saying we really want it to be 750 thousandths, or three quarters of an inch. We just can't be bigger. We're going to be a little smaller. So try to get it as close to that as you can. Just don't make it any bigger. <clears throat> may sound like a subtle point, because either one of them is going to give you acceptable parts, but we'd rather have more of them close to the 750 than the 745. Well, there's something called clearance fits and interference fits that we're going to talk about. First, we're going to talk about clearance fit. What a clearance fit is, um, it might be something, a piston has a clearance fit until you put the rings in the piston is slightly smaller than the, the sleeve or the cylinder. Um, anytime two things have to go together and they have to move freely past each other, there's usually a little bit of clearance. So what we're going to do is just use a simple locator pin here. On some of your equipment, if you, you have a piece that you're going to put on that's a little bit heavier, there's a locator pin. So you can slide it over that locator pin and it kind of holds it in place while you're getting your, your bolts put into it. So obviously we want that pin to be able to slide into that hole relatively easily. So let's say that pin is 0 0.500 inches plus or minus 0 0.005. And our hole is 0 0.520 inches plus or minus 0 0.005. So what we're going to look at here, we're going to look at the pin and the hole. We're going to look at the minimum and the maximum size of each. What is the minimum size of the pin? This is the pin here. Point. Perfect. What's the maximum size of the pin? 0.505. For the hole, what is the minimum size? 0 .5, 0 .5, and the maximum size? 0 .5, 0 .5. So over here we're going to talk about a clearance. We're going to talk about our minimum clearance and our maximum clearance. Minimum clearance is when the pin is big and the hole is small. So pin is big, hole is small. What's the difference between those? 0 0.010, 0, 10 thousandths of an inch. That's the minimum clearance here. Maximum clearance is when the pin is small and the hole is big. What's the maximum clearance there? 0 0.030. 0. 30 thousandths is actually starting to get a little bit sloppy. On stuff. So even with only a five thousandths tolerance, so we call a tolerance buildup, where one is at the small end of the tolerance, one's at the large end of the tolerance, and they end up making things a bit sloppy. Okay, I think you guys get the picture, so we're going to look on page 198 in your book. Exercise 4.7. 1 through 41 the odds. <clears throat> 